Hi, this is Bob Kramer in Kramer's Garage. Um, what I'm sharing with you guys today is the uh, what I hope is the best way to hone a cylinder prior to putting new rings in an engine. So I'm working on a 1980 Honda GL1100 engine and here's one that I have just honed. This is a four-cylinder motor. That's the first of four. I'm trying to get the light on there so you can see the cross hatch. And this is one that I've not honed yet. I've, I've cleaned it, but I've not honed it yet. That's what the cross hatch pretty much should look like. For many years, I've used a hone similar to this, well, actually this one, uh, to hone cylinders in an engine. Uh, this has three stones. It's spring-loaded, um, so it fits down in the cylinder like that. And anyway, I'm not using this anymore. The last engine I built, the last couple engines I built, Using this type of a uh, hone, it, uh, it the rings did not seal well. It took a long time to get the rings to seal. I actually, in the last one I did, I had to use some of this in the oil change before I could get the rings to seal. So, I'm now using a ball brush or a ball hone like that. Uh, which I bought from a company called Brush Research. And um, I'm doing cast iron cylinders. These, these are, uh, this is an aluminum block with cast iron sleeves in it. So um, I'm using a silicon carbide hone, uh, 76 millimeters. My cylinder bores are 75 millimeter. So I got a 76 millimeter hone and I'm now honing. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this uh, hone real quick. And uh, the hone has to be coated with a light oil when you do this. So I'm using Marble Mystery Oil, MMO for short. And unlike the one with the stones, you have to have this spinning before you put in. So it put it in. So it might be splattering oil on the camera. I'm going to block that with my hand. I'm going to spin it slowly at first. You have to move it up and down fairly rapidly to get the proper cross hatch. Splattering oil on the camera. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to do it one more time here and I'm going to count it down for 10 seconds this time. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five, thousand six. 's still a little discoloration inside that cylinder I'm gonna hone it again
Okay, that's what we've wound up with. That looks pretty good. Incidentally, this motor has about 40,000 miles on it. So everything was in pretty good shape. But um, I took it apart to put a new transmission in it. I'm putting an overdrive transmission in a 1980 Goldwing. So I'm going to make a, a video about that too. So anyway, that's the cylinders honed. There's one more step to this, and that is to uh, clean, it, clean it out before you assemble. Okay, this is just a spray bottle with uh, soapy water in it. I'm just using uh, dish soap like that. Okay. and a brush. And I'll take this outside and just hose it off with a garden hose before I assemble the cases. Okay, I'll be assembling the cases in another video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're enjoying these videos.